Judges chapter 6. And when you get there, somebody read verse 13. 6.13. Gideon said to him, O oh my Lord, if the Lord is with us, why then has all this happened to us? Okay. So he said, O oh my Lord, Adoni. Right? Adoni. If Jehovah, whoops, I made my arrow wrong. If Jehovah is with us, why did all these things happen? My Lord, why did this happen? Now, go to, I, I'm going to read it real quickly to save some time. Now, you get ready to read 15. And where are all the, his miracles which our fathers told us about, saying, did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt? But now the Lord, Jehovah, capitals, has forsaken us and delivered us into the hands of Midianites. Then the Lord, Jehovah, turned to him and said, Go in this might of yours, and you shall save Israel from the hand of the Midianites. Have I not sent you? Read 15. So he said to him, Oh, my Lord, how can I save Israel? Oh, my Adonai. He changed his mind about who he was talking to. This guy said to him, this Lord said to him, Mighty man of God. He understood in three verses, he, he went from Adonai to Adonai. First, he just thought it was some guy showing up. Remember when uh, uh, Joshua saw the angel of the Lord standing there at Gilgal, has his sword drawn, and he says, are you for us or against us? And he says, neither. He uses the word no, lo. As the commander of the army of the Lord, I have come to whatever. And then he says, take off your shoes, this is holy ground. Only other time in the Bible that that is used, once at the bush, once when the angel of the Lord is with Joshua, it tells you that you're speaking about divinity. The word is Adonai or it's Jehovah, or whatever. I, I, I don't know right off the top of my head. But he understood from verse 13 to verse 15 that he was not speaking to my master, he was speaking to my God. And that's why he used the term Adonai. Why do they use the term Adonai? Because they don't use the name of Jehovah or Yahweh or however it's pronounced when speaking directly about or to him, right? So they use this as a term not misusing the divine name. So when you see capital L-O-R-D, it's Adonai, always referring to God. If you see capital L-O-R-D, it is always re referring to Jehovah. Okay? It's still God. It's still the same entity, but they're using it differently. Adonai, Adonai, Jehovah, or Yahweh, whatever. Okay? That is just so you know that. But Gideon went from thinking it was a man to knowing it was God in three verses. Okay? There you go. Mine doesn't have the first mode. Okay. I, I don't know what version you're reading, but it must be... King James. Why doesn't it have it? Let me see. Verse 13. Where are you? Judges? Where were we? 13. Gideon said unto him, Oh, my Lord. Okay. It's not a small L. It's not a small L. Now, why is it that way in there? They, that is not correct because the word is Adonai. I can go to the Hebrew and show you that. Okay. And then down here in... Uh, yeah, and it, we'll, I saw we'll, a change there, but it doesn't... Yeah, change. we'll get that correct. And it could be because they said, well, it's speaking of God and we know that. And so we're going to put that in there. But that's not a correct translation because it is Adoni. As a matter of fact, I, uh, do I have judges in here? If I do, if I do, I may have judges, Joshua. And that was Judges 6.13, is that right? Judges 6... 13, do I have that here? 18, 13, it says here, Gideon said to him, mighty man of valor, where is it? Um, Midian and wine press. Oh, Jehovah, oh, Lord. What was it, 13? Yeah, 13. Yeah. Okay. Jehovah said to him, might, and said to him, O oh, Gideon, my Lord. Adoni, okay? See right here? Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's, that's okay. See, it says right here. I'm just uh -huh. going to show you. A, uh, D, and then this is an N okay. with an I below it. That's okay. E, and that, that's another E. That's, that's a Yod. So it says okay. Adoni. Now, if we go down to 15, I'm going to show you, and you'll see the difference. Where is it? Um, 15, where, it, was it 15? Um, it said to him, oh, my Lord. Okay. Now look at the difference here. This one says, where was I? My Lord Adoni i got to find the word again because I want you to see the difference. So you'll see. Ado, uh, okay. Adoni. See, this one has a little dot below it. Adoni. Uh -huh. This one has a T Jeez. below it. Adonai. Yeah. That T is an A instead of an E. So it's Adoni, Adonai. Anyway, just so you can see the difference. So I don't know why they did that in the King James Version. There you go. Anyway. 
<laughs> yes, you really do. You really do. Anyway, let's, let's finish up in prayer so I can uh, meet my friends. And uh, Oh, glorious Heavenly Father, thank you for the wonderful, wonderful, just marvelous things that you hide in your word for us to discover. And thank you for revealing them to us with your, the power of your Holy Spirit and uh, just the love that you show for us when you open these things up to us. And uh, help us to always properly handle your word so that we, don't, we are not found with fault, but that we're found pleasing to you by how we treat it. And Lord, we just love you and we praise you. Take good care of this class in the week ahead and uh, meet their needs and exceed them according to your great riches and mercy. And we just love you and praise you in the name of Jesus. Amen.